Hello friends I am Jayesh Gandhi and from today we are going to start a new series of lectures on the digital electronics So before we start our discussion with digital electronics it is required to understand the boolean algebra and the tools required to design digital circuits So first of all let us understand what is boolean algebra Boolean algebra is a special type of algebra specifically used for binary number systems. Binary numbers are combinations of zeros and ones having only two symbols representing the numbers. All the boolean operations are carried out on ones and zeros. So why we have to learn the boolean algebra boolean algebra is extensively used to crunch binary numbers and design digital circuits digital circuits are one of the most important technology used nowadays because of its accuracy and reliability it uses only two states a zero that is zero volts and a one that is 5 volts so we start the discussion with the term binary digit it can represent a value 0 or a 1 and that is called a bit so bit is nothing but a binary digit either 0 or a 1 0 is also called false and 1 is also called true so if i represent the bit as true that means its state is 1 or it is 5 volts and if i represent it as false then its state is 0 or 0 volts so now let us introduce the boolean algebra operations we start the discussion with the operations which are used for boolean algebra and they are very popularly known as the three basic operations of boolean algebra the and operation or multiplication the or operation or addition the not operation or complement so these three terms multiplication and addition we have already used in our decimal algebra but now here they have a different meaning so we should not confuse the multiplication with decimal multiplication or addition with decimal addition these are boolean operations and the and and or and not are boolean operators so let us understand them one by one first of all let us introduce the and operation the and operation or the boolean multiplication and that is represented by a dot so we write down a dot b which means a and b where and is the operation which is performed on the bits a and b so the rules are that if a is 0 and b is 0 then the combination of these two a dot b that is 0 if a is 0 and b is 1 then a dot b is 0 if a is 1 and b is 0 then a dot b is 0 and if a is 1 and b is 1 then only the value of a dot b becomes 1 so the logic of this operation is that the output is true if and only if both the inputs are true so both the inputs are a and b and if they have a value 1 then only the output will be 1 so this is the fundamental and operation so next we want to talk about the or operation the or operation is represented in boolean algebra by boolean addition and it is represented by the plus sign 
but the plus sign is different the meaning is different as compared to the meaning in the decimal number system so for example if i write down a plus b it means a or b the rules for or operation are as given over here if a is 0 or b is 0 then the output is 0 if a is 0 or b is 1 then the output is 1 if a is 1 or b is 0 the output is 1 if a is 1 or b is 1 then the output is 1 which means that the output is true if any one of the input is true that is the logic of the or operation only if both the inputs are zeros then the output is zeros otherwise in all the other condition the output is 1 let us go to the next operation and that is the not operation the not operation or the boolean complement means that you have to change the value of 0 to 1 or vice versa that is 1 to 0 so if the bit a is 1 then the complement of a written down as a bar is 0 so if a is 1 then a bar is 0 if a is 0 then a bar is 1 so in not operation the zeros changes to 1 and the 1s changes to zeros it is called the complement operation in the boolean algebra so we have discussed the three basic operations of boolean algebra that is and or and not that brings us to the end of this discussion please like the video and share it with your friends to spread the knowledge. Thank you very much.